I'm still talking to you about the decision of the great legends, the mighty, the mighty, mighty Bishop Rance Allen with one of the greatest voices known to man, uh, the Clock Sisters. Who can beat the Clock Sisters at what they do? Nobody. Uh, as a matter of fact, they, they just got it, okay? And, uh, and, and the Lord gave it to them. And they've worked hard to develop their skill, their sound, their style. And what I love about them, uh, both Ranch Allen and the Clock Sisters are what you call song stylists. You know when, when at the introduction, right as they begin to, to sing, they, they do that thing. Uh, uh, Bishop Allen does that Toledo thing to his music. And, and the Clock Sisters are Detroit. Motor City all day long, and you can't help but groove, worship, and pr uh, and praise the Lord. I mean, they have hits, so I'll start giving my my uh, 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 my my age away. You know, I'm in my living in vain. And listen, to this day, I can't I cannot listen to. If I can't say a word, can I just wave my hand? Matter of fact, I don't even want to start talking about that song because he's been so good. I would explain it if I could. God's been just that good. If there is a prettier song on earth, I haven't heard it. And the way uh, First Lady Karen Clark Shears delivers the song, Sometimes I get filled up like an overflowing cup. I mean, when she delivers the song, uh, you, you can't help. You're there. And she's singing about the goodness of our Lord. It's great things like this. It's songs like that that, that, that just make you wonder why such an accomplished artist would lend her skill set to, to, to Calvin. Uh, to, 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 to Snoop Dogg. Um, now, if Snoop Dogg gets saved and denounce that stuff and come out of it, not giving his life to Christ, but gives his life to Christ, that's a different story altogether. But you can't have it both ways. Now, uh, 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 the, 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 the elect lady of the Church of God in Christ, our national elect lady, the elect la lady do this, uh, uh, elect lady, Supervisor Dorinda Clark Cole, a woman of God, I just love her so. This woman of God works closely with the president to ensure that the female evangelists of the church are well-trained and mentored for ministry. She has a board to assist her in, in this endeavor. However, her ministry is to affect the evangelist at large and not just the female uh, uh, constituency, uh, albeit she is the liaison to the Department of Women. She is uh, one that assists female clergy in obtaining national license. I mean, it's an honorable position. And 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 uh, and 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 and, and uh, First Lady uh, 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 Supervisor Cole is doing a tremendous job. But you have to. The reasonable question is: Should the elect lady? Uh, be singing with this man until the man is saved and, and did appall. Um, you can't be saved and promote marijuana. You can't be saved and still cussing. You can't be saved and, and still doing that stuff. And you know what? He could be saved and a baby in Christ that hadn't grown yet. But how about this? Give him time to grow. Now, you're not ready to, uh, Snoop Dogg, you're not ready to minister to us in song. The Church of God in Christ taught me you have to earn your way, earn your seat on the platform, earn being heard. You have to earn it. You have to live it. You have to earn it. And you have, you have, to, you have to put your, your um, pay your dues. Now, Kim Burrell, you're talking about a singer. Woo, Lord God. And last time I was talking to you about Kim Burrell, I was defending Kim because Kim was right. She was right, she was right, she was right. She preached the truth, she told the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help her God. But I did warn Kim Burrell that you can't eat from the devil's table and from the Lord's table, and it looks like Kim's up to it again. This time, uh, Kim uh, is, has decided that she was well, done. She's on Jay-Z's 444 album. And uh, the headlines is Kim Burrell slammed for working on Jay-Z's 444, 444 
album where rapper's mom comes out as a lesbian. Now, was this move a move to gain, you know, to kind of get back in with the LBGT community because you talked against the homosexual spirit? Because you know when you make that community mad, boy, they can, those people who cry tolerance are the most intolerant. There is a no more intolerant group than the homosexual group. Intolerant to the core. They do not allow dissent. They do not allow disagreement. And if you mess around and you even read portions of scripture in their presence, all oh, they swell up and blow up and, and they huff and puff loose here. You have the devil in you and you need to be saved. Jesus died for you. He'll set you free. But homosexuality is wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. The Bible speaks against it. The Bible spoke against it. Jesus, every time he made reference to Sodom, it was a pejorative. Christ spoke against it. Paul called it strange flesh. Moses said, thou shalt not lay with mankind as with women, womankind. All throughout the scripture, everywhere in the scripture, it's wrong. The Bible teaches that every man should have his own woman. To avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife. And for her to avoid fornication, let every woman have her own husband. They got to be born, the born male grow up to be a husband, born female, grows up to be a wife. I mean, this is basic Christianity 101. Now, back to this, back to this. You know, I'll, I'll get on a little tirade. Popular gospel singer Kim Burrell, who publicly, uh, who was publicly vilified last December for a fiery sermon. And, you know, much of this particular article is about how Kim spoke out against the homosexual spirit. And I guess, I guess, I guess the point is, uh, after Kim did all that, then Kim uh, sings on, uh, uh, what's his name, Jay-Z's album. Now, Kim tells the story, and it's a touching story. And Kim, you have our, our condolences um, of how she lost her brother. And, um, and, uh, uh, and we most certainly do not make uh, light of that. She lost her brother. She said on his deathbed, her brother told her that she would have, quote, much success, end of quote, but did not understand, but did not understand what it meant until Jay-Z's new album was released uh, in June. <sighs> see that now. Now, see, th this is the kind of stuff that make you feel like, she was trying to play us with a, an emotional story. My brother, you know, the brother, brother's not here to tell, to say whether he said it or not. And I, and I hope he's in heaven. I don't know her brother. I don't know anything about it. But I know this, if she lost her brother, that was a painful thing. And what he, Kevin, her brother, was telling me to, was telling me to go do is what was just revealed on June the 30th. And I was going to L.A. because Jay-Z called and Jay-Z wanted me to come and do a record with him. And I did. Jay-Z. <laughs> that great endorser of Jesus Christ. <laughs> and I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm sure they are. Full disclosure. I've never heard it. I don't listen to Jay-Z. Uh, it's, it's the title cut. Four, four, four. She said joyfully. Now listen to this. She then went on to went on went into a discussion of biblical numerology, which Lewis G. Craig Lewis describes as a satanic practice, and I agree with G. Craig Lewis on this point one hundred percent. Quote: What's so great about all of this is I don't think. I've ever shared with you, but but my angel numbers are two, two, two. Now, angel numbers. Kim, 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 you're getting into, uh, uh, oh, Kim, you're going into Satanism, Kim. Uh, the Bible teaches us in uh, Colossians chapter 1 and, and verse, uh, chapter 2, verse 18, let no man beguile you of your reward in the voluntary 
humility and the worshiping of angels, intruding into those things which he have not seen, vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind. We're not told to have an angel number. Angel number, this is not a biblical teaching. Angel numbers are a way for you, uh, for your celestial guides to communicate with you. They can deliver specific messages through certain numbers and number sequences. This communication is often uh, communication most often manifests itself in a series of repeated numbers or a series of synchronistic numbers. For example, looking at a clock and seeing 1111 or checking out of a grocery store and you see 1234. So I guess if you see these numbers, that's your angel talking to you. Now, why is that from Genesis to Revelation? Kim, Kim Burrell, you know better. You know better. You know better, pastor. You know better. You know better. So she has her numbers, her angel numbers are two, two, two. Maybe I'm dumb, maybe I'm, and you know what? That's the possibility that maybe that's where it is because I'm just a cornfield preacher. What do I know? They never taught me about my angel number. Jesus did, I did, I did learn what Jesus said. If you ask the Father anything in my name, I'll do it. I, I have read in the Hebrews where the Hebrew writer says that angels are ministering spirits sent forth by God to minister unto us, that we're not supposed to pray to them and all that. They are given assignments to take care of the saints. But I guess you know more than the Bible. If you ever see 222, they represent angels for me. <laughs> and I looked them up uh, and I've done uh, so much research on what 222 could possibly mean. And the 222 represents my angels, my present angels. So for them to be doubled on Jay-Z's album, 444, I mean, this is kind of funny. Uh, he had double angels with him. JG, I mean, Jay-Z had double angels with him. Jay-Z, she, uh, she said of her brother. So for me to go to Jay-Z at the time, I had no idea until June 30th when it came out uh, what the title song was going to be. I just knew that content. I just knew the content. And so I'm so proud to say that on June the 30th, the song 444 came out and that's me on it on the new Jay-Z record. And, uh, and Jay-Z's mom comes out on, on the album and then she confessed that she's a lesbian. Uh, she's had four kids. I, I, I bet she didn't have those four kids for a woman. I guarantee you that. And she had to pretend so long to be a thespian. So I guess she comes out to be a lesbian. And I don't know Jay-Z's mom and I make no comment on her. You already know where I stand on lesbianism. So maybe this is an attempt of, of, by Kim Burrell to get back in with the homosexual and lesbian community. But I do know this. If you add 444, Kim, to 222, you get 666. And that's what this looked like. It looked more antichrist. It looks more like the, the, the number of the devil than anything else. Now, come on, pastor. Come on, come on, come on. Um, you know this is not right. You know it's not right. That you have the voice that, that it may sound good, that it's going to, I know it's going to be first rate quality. I know the best musicians are on it. I know, I know all that. It, it's got to be good. It's Jay-Z. This guy, this guy is good at what he does. But, but what he doesn't do is that he doesn't promote Christ. And Kim, neither are you promoting Christ in that decision. And then for the reasons you gave, your reasons are worse than the decision because you have angel numbers. Where'd that come from? Is it just me? Come on, Kim. So I guess now your fans are going to make up their angel number. 111-333-888. I don't know. Any combination of numbers. Do you see the garbage? Do you see what you're doing? Now, if you love Jesus like I believe that you do, if you love the Lord, you repent of that kind of thing. And don't you out there try to defend no angel numbers. That's not in the Bible. And, I, you know, all this biblical numerology, this is the number of that and that is the number of this. Watch that. Watch that. You begin to read more into things in there than what's there. The Bible, we shouldn't read the Bible for secret, uh, 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 secret 
messages and all that kind of stuff. We don't believe that there's an esoteric meaning in the scripture. We believe that the Bible is plain. Now, I have one more thing to say to you, and I'll be right back.